So we've learned how to draw little pieces of wood in third angle projection. Well, let's use the skills to draw something in the real world that we actually might want to design and make. So I have here a USB power port. So let's go ahead and draw this in third angle projection. First, we need to make a couple decisions. We need to pick our unit of measure to get proportions. I could pick this curvy edge, but that's a little hard to measure. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this edge because I can get my thumb on there really good. And so if that's one unit, well then that's half a unit. Looking this way, you know, that's about three quarters of a unit. Remember, we're making a sketch to get the idea of the three dimensionality of this object. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the first thing to do is to draw our horizontal line. I'm going to draw it just a little bit higher. And then we draw our vertical line. So now we have to draw one unit. So let's go ahead and think about it and put one unit right here. And then we'll draw our 45 degree line. And then we can subdivide this. So there's our one unit. And remember the next piece is half a unit. So let's go ahead and draw a 45 degree line. It's okay, you can go back in, don't get too fussy about it. Now I have two units here, and then I can subdivide this, and now I have that half unit. Now this isn't exactly a quarter, but it's pretty close, so we can do that for now. So we'll subdivide. So there's a quarter, and so it's just a little bit smaller, so we'll make it just a little bit smaller on both. And now we have the rough sketch of our front view. Let's go ahead and draw the top view. Remember, the top view is now going to look like this. So we'll draw a horizontal line. And then we need one unit, so we'll draw 45. And we'll draw our angle over. And we can project up from here. That'll give us those two pieces. And now let's take a measurement. It's hard to say, but I would think that this mark is probably on the quarter. We could look that up in electrical code books, but we're going to dimension this from our measurements. So let's go ahead and we'll get the halves. And then I'm going to draw on inside of the quarter inch. Not the quarter inch, but the inside of the quarter portion. That'll be good for that. And then finally, we need to get our right hand side view. So we can go ahead and we can project over these lines. And then we can go ahead and put a 45 from the top corner here as our projection line. And then I can project over this and project over this. If I drop down, and I'll project over this line. And that's going to be pretty close to our size. And now we can get the height of our plug. So now we have the basic outlines of our plug. But if you look at this, this has rounded edges. So we can go ahead and just round those edges off. Now we need to go ahead and darken in our lines. So And if you look at the edge of this, it's tapered in a bit, so we can mark that. And 
Now we have our front. Top. And right. But we still have to put the hole here, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be in the center. And then we can mark some marks like this. And then we need to indicate that the ho hole is at the top here, so we'll project up. Then we need to project over. Okay, so this is a pretty good representation of this part. We understand what it looks like in three dimensions. It's not perfectly to scale, but it's in general proportion. Now we can add some dimensions to it with our calipers. So let's measure that front dimension. And we look, that's 29.5. And then we can measure that height. It's 25.7. Then we need to measure these prongs for the outlet. And we can use the step of our the step gauge of our calipers. You can see that from the back. And that can measure things that are at different edges. So this is 16.2. 16.5, we can go ahead and mark that. We need to know the thickness, 1.4. And we can also mark from the outside of these. We need to know the height of them. About 6.2. And we need to know the width. So we should know this width spacing, which is 13.9. Do the interior measurement. 11.22, and that should add up correctly, so you can always double check your work. And then we just need to radius this fillet here and this circle. So the circle is easy enough because we can measure the interior of that. So it's going to be 3.2, so 1.7 for a radius, so R 1.7. And then this fillet, we're just going to have to guess what that is. And you could measure it um, and find out from the plans of this or put in the fillet that, that you want. This looks to be, you know, it looks to be about two or three millimeter fillet. So we'll just write in three for that. And then we can adjust it in our design. Now we have all the pieces dimensioned. And now we just have to write metric. And we're ready to design our part in any 3D modeling program of our choice. And being able to sketch quickly like this without a ruler is important because it can translate your ideas into something that someone else can understand. And you can talk to people about how you might design or model or manufacture a part very quickly and communicate your ideas and ideate and iterate through many different versions quickly. Once you've settled on a design, then you can use these sketches to put them into more precise CAD tools. Uh, before you do final output.